21 insane findings in South America. Welcome to Wonders of Nature Wednesdays. Number 21. The maned wolf. You'll find these creatures spread from southeastern Brazil to northern Argentina. They resemble a long-legged fox and can rotate the ears to listen for prey lurking in the grass. But it's not a wolf or a fox. It's the one and only species of the genus called Crision, which means golden dog. Number 20. The Patagonian Mara. It's a rodent that lives in the grasslands of South and Central Argentina. They honestly seem like a mashup of several different animals. They're fast like rabbits and can jump six feet in the air when startled. They walk like a deer and have their coloring. They fold their paws like a cat when resting and their face resembles a kangaroo. Number 19. The pink fairy armadillo. These guys are found in Argentina, and it's the smallest known species of armadillo, measuring only four inches long. They usually live underground, but will surface at night to find food, which is mostly ants. They're known for their distinctive look, kind of like Tony Stark designed Iron Man armor for a rabbit. Number 18. The Olenguito. This species was only recently discovered in 2013 in Colombia and Ecuador. They have been spotted before, but have been confused with other species. This is actually the smallest member of the raccoon family. Being so small, it's vulnerable to prey, so it tends to stay only in the trees and only comes out at night. Number 17. The Golden Lion Tamarind, an animal that looks just like its name implies. These little lions have a mane around their head and live in the Amazon rainforest of Brazil. Some people call them the squirrels of the rainforest because they're about the size of that animal. Number 16. The Royal Amazonian Flycatcher. These small birds are known for the dazzling, fine-shaped crests, which can range in color from red to yellow. As you'd expect from the name, this bird is native to the Amazonian basin, spreading across Bolivia to Brazil. No surprise, the diet consists mainly of flying insects like dragonflies. Number 15. The Red-Lipped Batfish. Unlike most fish, this animal, native to the Galapagos Islands, actually prefers to walk along the seafloor. Maybe it's to show off those distinctive red lips, which are kind of like those big red wax lips you see at Halloween. The purpose of those lips still isn't clear, but some researchers think it may have to do with males showing off for females during mating season. Number 14. The alpaca, often mistaken for a llama. This animal is a domesticated species that likes to graze in the highlands of Chile, Peru, and Ecuador. Alpacas are valued for their soft fleece, which is fire resistant and is used to make a variety of textile products, including blankets, gloves, and bedding. They're also known for spitting at humans, so keep your distance. Number 13. The kinkajou. These little carnivorous mammals are native to the rainforests of South America and prefer living on the canopies of trees. They might be up there for quite a while. They have a lifespan of up to 30 years, which is a ripe old age for a mammal this size. Did you know that kinkajou can turn its feet backwards, enabling it to run back or forth or side to side? Bet they could do an awesome moonwalk. Number 12. The penis snake, formerly known as a Caecilian amphibian. This is not a snake of any sort. These creatures are limbless and generally use their sense of smell to navigate. Growing over 30 inches long, they were actually rediscovered while part of the Madeira River in South America was being drained. Number 11 the Galapagos tortoise. These guys can get very old. The oldest one on record is 153 years old. No surprise, they are the longest living vertebrates in the world and can reach a length of five feet long. Because they're endangered, the Ecuadorian government have ruled humans cannot approach or touch these animals, but they are allowed to approach or touch you. Luckily, they move really slow, so you can get away. Number 10, the giant anteater. The name gives away its diet, although the giant anteater doesn't necessarily eat giant ants. Their long tongue goes all the way down the snout and can suck up row upon row of ants at a time. Giant anteaters are native to South and Central America and grow to roughly the size of your average German Shepherd dog. Number nine. 
the American crocodile. Well, it plays no favorites between North and South America, just so you know. Now, it can be found all the way from Southern Florida to Ecuador. This is one of the larger crocodile species and usually grows to 16 feet long and weighs nearly 900 pounds. You'll often see these animals congregating near bridges, hoping tourists will toss them some food or hoping the tourists toss themselves in. Number eight, the Paku fish. Native to South American waters, the Paku fish is best known for sporting a set of human-like teeth. Just take a look at those choppers. Pretty intimidating, right? Local fishermen refer to it as the ball cutter because they're afraid those teeth might, well, try to steal the family jewels. Number seven, Andean condor. With a 10-foot wingspan, this is the largest flying bird in the world. They're found in the mountainous areas of West and South America at elevations up to 18,000 feet. Updrafts at those extreme altitudes allow the birds to travel great distances with only an occasional flap of their wings. Number six, the living rock. Now, believe it or not, these are not rocks, but living, breathing, organisms. Their appearance allows them to avoid predators by blending into the environment, most often beaches in Chile. Each of these creatures possesses both male and female organs and are able to breed individually. Sounds like a party. Can you smell what the living rock is cooking? Number five, the Amazon horned frog. Found in freshwater marshes of the Amazon rainforest, they're just small enough to sit on a tea saucer with their limbs just barely over the rim. They use this small size to their advantage, hiding between shrubbery until they see prey, then jump out and feast, but only on something smaller than themselves. Number four the Venezuelan poodle moth. This is a relatively new species of moth discovered in Venezuela in 2009. The insect's appearance is so bizarre that people thought the discovery was a hoax before the creature's existence was confirmed. Relatively little is still known about this species. Number three. Titana boa, or Titanic boa. In 2009, the fossilized remains of a gigantic prehistoric snake was found in the tropics of northern Colombia. Dating back nearly 60 million years, the fossils revealed a snake that measured 50 feet long and weighed more than a ton. The evidence suggests it would have resembled the modern day boa constrictor, but would have spent more time in the water like an anaconda. Number two, the panda ant. Found in Chile, this does indeed look like an ant, but this insect actually belongs to the Mutilidae, which is a family of over 3,000 species of wasps. The females are wingless and are easily mistaken for large hairy ants. When they turn up with this distinctive black and white coloring, they earn the title of panda ant, although they're neither. It's still a wasp and is known to have a painful sting. Number one a huge snake. In 2016, construction workers in Brazil found a huge snake when it slithered out of a cave while crews were building a dam. The predator appeared after a rigged explosion went off. The massive reptile was identified as an anaconda and said to measure 32 feet long and weighed nearly half a ton. The animal was killed at the scene. Had it lived, it might have been crowned the largest snake ever. See you next week on Wonder of Nature Wednesdays.